another week another grocery haul and I actually have a lot of things I'm trying to get done today to share with you guys for the remainder of this month hey guys if you are new my name is Vanessa and pretty much every single Saturday I share my grocery haul for my family for the upcoming week and then sometimes I do tack on the meal plan so I am sharing the meal plan with you guys today along with my just under $200 HEB grocery haul. Just a few, well a couple too, <laughs> non-food items I believe. But I hope you guys enjoy that I share this every week and it gives you guys some ideas. I actually picked up a few extra things this week because I have some videos that I want to be sharing with you guys as we get closer and closer to the holidays. Again, I've mentioned this in several videos but this is definitely my favorite time of year. Whether we are in normal times or not, I just enjoy this season and everything that comes with it. So let's go ahead and get right into the meal plan and then I'll share my grocery haul. Okay, so we're gonna go over the meal plan quickly first before we get into the groceries, but this is gonna be, when you guys are seeing this, Saturday, September 12th to the 18th. This is what I've got planned. So tonight we're going to have sausage with a jalapeno popper casserole. I'm really excited to try this, it looks good with corn on the cob. Sunday, we're gonna do a ham and cheese tortellini bake with salad. Monday, some dill chicken with roasted potatoes and green beans. Tuesday, I'm gonna try this vegan lentil soup. I've made a couple different variations. This is a new one that we're gonna be trying out with hopefully breadsticks, we'll see. Wednesday is gonna be chicken and broccoli pasta. It's like an all-in-one dish. Thursday is gonna be leftovers, and then Friday, I'm leaving for a fun weekend. I'll probably share pictures on Instagram. I'm not vlogging it though, just FYI, but I'll try to share pictures if you guys are following me on Instagram. And I just wrote down Brenner because I'm gonna be making some really yummy fall-themed breakfasts over the course of the week. That will be an upcoming video for you guys. Um, and then I just wrote down Brenner for Mark since that'll, that'll be something that's already done and ready. And my kids love breakfast food any time of the day. So that is our meal plan for this coming week. And I always get questions on my meal planner. It is a Carrie L meal planner and I do believe she stopped selling them for a while while everything crazy was going on, but I do believe they are back in stock. I think I only have like one month left, maybe two months. So I need to get myself a new one, but I've used so many different meal planners. So this one is definitely my favorite. I love the layout, all the extra things that she gives. Definitely my favorite and it's always linked down in the description box for you guys. All right, so $200-ish from HEB. This is everything I got. I tried to separate it a little bit. We'll start over here with the produce. I got a small thing of tomatoes this week. Last week the kids didn't eat as many so we still have a little less than half of that bigger container. So I feel like this will be good to get us through this week. I've got some parsley one cucumber, two yellow onions, a bunch of bananas, a bunch of jalapenos. I only need six for a recipe, but I did pick up, I think, four more. I think I got a total of 10, maybe nine. I picked up a few more just to have because I have another dish that I think I want to have those with. I got one pound of strawberries, and then this was the best looking one. That one doesn't look the greatest, but I wanted to get just a smaller amount because when I buy these in individual packages, the kids never go through them, and I'm not the best at eating fruit. That's my, my one thing. I'm just not good at snacking on the healthy stuff, you know, or the fresh things. So I got this berry trio, and again, this was just the best looking one. The rest of them, the raspberries looked really, really sad. So it's got blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries in it. I got a bag of baby spinach for a recipe, three lemons, two avocados. The fresh corn was super cheap. It was like 19 cents, but they all looked really sad. So I did pay a little bit extra to get these ones. They look better and they're already shucked for me, so I don't have to do really a whole lot of prep. And again, there's four in each, so I picked up two packages of that. 
And then another small bag of grapes. This worked perfect last time by not getting a full bag. This was the perfect amount for my kids. Okay, and then we've got some drinks. I feel like we always have a ton of drinks. So I did get a 20 pack of the Dr. Pepper for our house guest. He's completely out. No Coke Zero because I still have plenty. I, I might need it by next week though, we'll see. I got two different kinds of Zevia for my husband, Mark. He likes the ginger root beer and the cream soda. Our typical thing of orange juice, the Simply Orange is my favorite brand, so I got that. And then I also picked up the Simply Cranberry Cocktail. I need that for a recipe that I'm gonna be creating three gallons of milk this week. So last week I got one gallon. Typically, if you've been following me for any amount of time, we get two gallons. Um, but this week I need a lot of milk in a couple different recipes. So I went ahead and wanted to be on the safe side and I got three. So this will definitely be plenty for this week and maybe who knows, next week we'll end up just getting one or the typical two gallons. We'll have to see next week. Then I got a small thing of heavy whipping cream for a recipe, the Canada Dry and the Blood Orange Italian Soda are also for a recipe or two that I am putting together. I picked up some chocolate almond milk for my daughter Paige, and then I'm making a couple sweet treats this week that you guys are gonna see in upcoming videos, and, um, and a project, not just videos, but I needed some extra creamy Ready Whip, so I picked this up, and then when I was Looking at that, I found this one and I thought my oldest daughter would want to try it and it's the non-dairy almond milk ready whip for um, either her chocolate milk, she can heat that up and turn it into hot chocolate and have some of this on top or anything like that, but I wanted to pick that up for her to give a try. All right, coming over here, we've got the cold items. I did go ahead and pick up Lunchables for my kids, my younger three, it's been a little while. So I got the turkey and ham sandwich, the Lunchables uploaded. I like these because it comes with like a sweet, a salty, and then a little mini water bottle with a like a juice packet to go in it. So I picked up the turkey and ham and the turkey and cheddar because I think my daughter Pearl will want this one and then my son Bryce just likes plain old turkey and cheese. So I got that one for him. So you can see there it comes with the Pringles and the Hershey's and this one comes with Cheez-Its and a Rice Krispie treat. And then my daughter Rose loves the nachos and the nachos don't come with like a salty because it's got chips in it already, it's the nachos. <laughs> so she got that one and it does have the fruit by the foot in there. So that'll be a lunch that they can either have today when you guys are seeing this Saturday or Sunday sometime this weekend. We are completely out of pepperoni. So I like to get the pepperoni minis for the little snacky um, trays that I make for the kids. My daughter Rose really loves these small ones. And then Bryce and Pearl could care less. They just love pepperoni. So I got the turkey one this time. I don't know if I've ever picked up the turkey one, but um, the regular pepperoni, whenever I'm cooking it, like on pizzas and stuff, it's super greasy. So I have a little fun lunch that I wanna make and I'm hoping the turkey isn't as greasy as the um, other pepperoni. So I picked that up, needed some mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna be shredding this, that's for a recipe. Um, you guys already saw the meal plan, so this is gonna go with a dinner one night, the three cheese tortellini. I picked this up. I'm obsessed with these. I almost picked up several of them and then I was like, no, nah, that's okay. Just get one. But this one I haven't tried before. It's got the spreadable cheese. So these natural honey smoked turkey breast with a garlic and herb Monterey Jack spreadable cheese and then whole wheat crackers. I love these. These are so good for either a snack. Typically I have this as a light lunch um, and sometimes I'll have a yogurt or something else on the side with that. I got some diced ham for a recipe. This is probably more than I need, but this is super yummy when you are mixing it with scrambled eggs in the morning. So I went ahead and got that. Then we got some sour cream, needed that, needed some cold, Cool Whip for a recipe, so I got that. And then I think the last cold item, these are two things from the freezer. I need some cranberries for a couple different things I'm doing, and then I just happen to see these. And every now and then I like to pick up just a quick lunch option, and we've never tried these before. These are the bagel bites, but they're the bagel dogs. So I got that for the kids to try for a quick lunch. Then we've got some shelf stable items here. I got this Velveeta cheese sauce. So these are just pouches. I don't need these. I just happened to see them when I was down the aisle and I was like, this would be something good to have on hand or either to add on the side of something, any kind of Tex-Mex dinner with chips and stuff, put a can of Rotel in here and you got a quick queso or um, for dipping like 
the bagel dogs and stuff like that. So I went ahead and got this. There's three pouches in there. So I thought that would just be nice to have on hand. The mini chocolate chips for a recipe. And then this is another thing that I saw while I was getting the mayo. And I was like, oh, that sounds really good because we have Tex-Mex a lot. So this is the Hellman's cilantro lime sauce. I thought that would be good to go with a couple different things. Out of honey, I needed honey, so I got the small one. We don't use as much as we used to, so I did go ahead and just get the smaller thing of honey. And then we're out of mayo, and mayo is like the new ketchup in my house with Bryce and Pearl. Rose is still obsessed with ketchup, but Bryce and Pearl have been asking for mayonnaise a lot with a lot of different things. So I got one of the squeezable ones that is super easy to use. And then for, as far as like when I need it for a recipe and mixing it and things, I went ahead and got the little jar. So we've got two little mayonnaise containers to last us. The old fashioned oats back there, that is for some cookies that I'm gonna be making. And then holy pumpkin. <laughs> they have been out of pumpkin for so long that I did not clear the shelf, there was a ton but I do need four cans for a pumpkin video you guys are gonna see coming up. I'm making a lot of pumpkin stuff. It is one of my favorite flavors. So I needed four cans for that and then I picked up an extra one just to have or if I want to throw it into some dog food when I make some dog food next time, I went ahead and got an extra. So I'm really glad to see pumpkin back on the shelves. It's been missing for a long time. I needed a chicken broth for a recipe, so I got a can and then I went ahead and got the chicken flavor bouillon to just have on hand going forward. Um, I wanted to make something last week and I didn't have anything um, chicken flavored for the dish. So I went ahead and got the broth so I, so I can make it this week and then I'll have the bouillon going forward. Okay, and then coming over here, this pasta is for a recipe. I love this. I used to get, I think it was Olive Garden that had a meal very similar to what I'm gonna be making and I absolutely loved it with this type of pasta. So I went ahead and picked that up to recreate. I got a package of bread. I still have one in the freezer, but I'm making some French toast. So I wanted to have um, an extra on hand because Rose has been obsessed with grilled cheese lately. So if I run out of bread, it's a sad day in this house. So I went ahead and picked up another one and this was like a buck. So got that. Then I went ahead and got this Supreme Matcha Green Tea. I think my daughter Paige would enjoy this. So I picked that up for her. I'm gonna give it a try as well. And then a little snack to have on hand, I picked up some Pringles. So Paige is having a friend spend the night this weekend and I asked what kind of snacks she likes. Some of them I couldn't find at HEB, so I'm gonna run into Target, but it's just gonna be for like a few things. So you guys won't see that. Um, kind of like snacky things for Paige and her friend. One thing she asked for was the original Pringles. So I opted to go ahead and get this variety pack and that way my kids have it as well going forward for either a late afternoon snack or with their lunches or something like that. So went ahead and got that. Like I said, it's the variety pack. There's 18 in there. So there's six original, six sour cream and onion, and then six cheddar cheese. And last but not least, just two non-food items. I picked up, you guys can tell, no nails on. The nails that I had lasted about two weeks. I just took them off. I'm letting mine breathe for a little bit before I put more on and I picked up some nail glue. So I have one of these, but my daughter Paige took it from my bathroom. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, we need to have two. So she's keeping the one that I picked up about two weeks ago, and this one's gonna go in my bathroom. And then I'm completely out of dry shampoo, and I love using this stuff in between um, hair washing days. So I went ahead and picked up the Batiste. It's definitely my favorite brand. So those are the two non-food items, and that was, like I mentioned, about $200 from H-E-B to get us through the next week. And some of these items are definitely gonna last a lot longer than one week. Okay, so that is everything I have to share with you guys today. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. My daughter Pearl has a softball game this morning. I filmed my intro and outro after the grocery haul because the grocery haul was kind of late yesterday. So it is already Saturday morning for me. We've got to get off, get her to her softball game. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, whether you have plans to stay home or get out and enjoy some fresh air. But give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy that I share my grocery haul with you guys every Saturday and I will see you in the next one.